What's going on guys, it's your boy Rob Lee back here with another video and as a person who has 10,000 followers on Instagram, I know a thing or two of how to get followers on IG, even still in 2020. Let's get into it. So yeah guys, these are my top, I want to say top five ways, doing this off top of the head. I should have a note, but for whatever, I got five ways on how to make Instagram followers this year. So in the past, you was able to use, um, people use automation sites, people use follow for follow, all that stuff. The automation sites don't work no more. Don't try to do it. Um, you will get banned. Like Instagram has cracked down so heavily on the automation. It's ridiculous. So I wouldn't, don't even do it. You can't do it. Once you try to do it, you're going to get a message by from Instagram. I'll post it somewhere. Uh, I guess I'll post it right here. Uh, maybe right here. Yeah, you will get that message um, saying to change your password. And if you give that site you sign into the site again, who knows what the hell is going to happen. They're going to ban your account. So definitely not going to do that. We're going to talk about getting followers organically. And I was able to get a lot of followers organically um, throughout the last uh, two and a half years that I've been on my music stuff and rapping and stuff. So the first thing, hashtags, man. Hashtags still work well here in 2020. I think with the Instagram algorithm, they don't want to see a lot of hashtags bunched up. There is a little hack you can get away with. You can use the comment sections or when you put in your hashtags, make a, make a little paragraph and have different hashtags in the paragraph. Uh, have the hashtags be technically be keywords. Say I'm making a post about a new video. Say, hey, I'm a Baltimore rapper. Maybe you hashtag Baltimore rapper. I'm a Baltimore rapper. I just made this new music video, hashtag music video, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Do things like that and you can still put as much hashtag as you can. That's, that's one thing. You want to have a lot of hashtags. Um, not even, if you want to make, make your, uh, your caption clean, you can go and comment hashtags and maybe even do a couple of comments you know just to spread the hashtags out this instagram just don't want to see a bunch of hashtags back to back to back to back that's one thing you just got to keep in mind not saying it will push your the content out but instagram is just so strict so you never know number two and gotta engage with other people this is a social media hence the word social engage with people like their posts dm them um i don't spam just have conversations um you uh, just just go on people post that's in your niche. Like, say if you're if you're a music artist, go to a music artist page. Like, go to like Roddy Rich's page, and don't just go to his follows. Go to the the post and see who's engaging, and maybe start a conversation saying, "Hey, um, I don't know, somebody posts like I love this song. Um, maybe your post." Yeah, Roddy Rich got all, I love all Roddy Rich songs, blah, blah, blah. Maybe start a conversation. This does take a little time. This takes a little effort. You know, you can go two hours a day. Just put two hours a day. I mean, maybe on your lunch break, maybe when you get home, you're chilling. You're on your phone all the time. And why not just go ahead and try to, you know, maximize the time you have on your phone. Just by um, hitting people up. This is just organic follows. And then eventually you'll get people following you and engaging you or you can even in the conversation say hey go follow my page yo you want to talk some more blah 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 something like that's pretty cool number three way is stories now i've noticed this lately if you're getting this if you're watching this video i'm making this video and i'm gonna get my phone real quick i'm, I'm making this video during the coronavirus um epidemic and everything right now and a great way you can use this stay home um so you see my phone right here. Let me see if it'll focus. All right. So uh, it's a little bright, but you see this little stay home. When you go and make a story, right? And this, this also will give you more engagement on your story. But when you go into the story right now, you can, let's say, let's just take a random picture. And you go into your story and you go to your sticker right here. And there is a stay home sticker. Let's uh, see if I can focus it again. Uh, I'm so bad with the camera, man. You know. Anyway, you, you'll see it when you go to the sticker. It's like the first one. Um, and then the stay home will push your... It'll basically be in the stay home thing. Now, most of your followers will see it. But I've noticed lately that I'll put like a, a question or something. And a lot of people will say, hey, I saw you on the Explore page and my, my content has been getting pushed out 
to the explore page. So utilize story, man, especially for engagement. Like most people look at stories. I, I just literally go to the stories now and just scroll through the stories and just see what's going on in them. But yes, utilize your stories, man. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of followers because it's basically pushing my stories and I'm getting impressions outside of my followers, which is great. And then you can take advantage of that just uh just putting up stories and putting up something really interesting that could possibly potentially go viral if the right people see it. So yeah man, uh, utilize stories. Now the number fourth way to gain followers on Instagram is get shout outs, man. You can get shout outs, like I said, being social, maybe you um, know somebody in your niche that got the same amount of followers or even more. You can pay for a shout out. You can just go to someone's page that has a million followers. And a lot of people only charge like $50 to $100 for a shout out. Like I just got one of my videos on this guy's page. I won't disclose who it is, but I just got one of my videos as a story post, but for $50 and he has 1.5 million followers. And it's a swipe up post. The swipe up is to the, to the strings of my song. And I'm um, looking to see what that do. Even so, 1.5 million. Let's let's do the numbers. Like 1.5 million followers. I was like, well, what if only, you know, 10% of his 1.5 million followers see that post, right? So 1.5 million followers times, uh, let's say, let's say 1%. I, I was even like, all right, all right, 1.5 million followers times 1%. It's 15,000 people that could potentially see my song, right? And let's just say 1% of the 1,500 swipe up. So only 1% 1 of the 1,500 swipe up. That's 150 people that could potentially follow me. You know, that's for just $50. Look, think about it. You can buy followers for $50, um... But that's not real engagement. 150 people, that's 150 people that can engage with your content, that actually like your content. More than likely they do it. They actually swiped up and followed you or they swiped up and streamed my song and found my Instagram through Spotify or something. So, yeah, that's uh, definitely one great way is just pay for advertisement. Like, if you're going to spend money, spend it on people that have legit followers and that will shout you out and even do a shout out say, hey, go follow this page. Like you make crazy amount of followers. This is what I'm actually about to do. I'm not just going on a crazy Instagram influencer spree. That's what I'm calling. And number five, I know it's cliche, but just make great content. Put out the best pictures. I just did a photo shoot with my guy. Um, and I'm about to put out these photos and you know, just make great, put great content out. Put high definition videos, high definition photos. Send your photos out. There's so many pages, um, not just in influencers that got millions of, of followers, but there's pages that will post your pic if it's great quality. Like, you know, for me, I can go to, like, I got dreadlocks. I can go to a page that has 100,000 followers for people who are dreadlocks. And there's some pages that have posted me for no charge. I just sent them my picture. They posted my picture. I gained followers. So and then I and more than likely those pages will get you'll get on the explore page and bam that it, it blows up so fast. So um yeah, the bet like I said, just put out the best pictures you can possibly put out. Like I said, I'm just learning that now. Um even after all this time, like try to put the best photos out, get the best, get some professional pictures. If you don't know nobody that takes professional pictures, um get a friend. Like you can the editing and stuff on the iPhone nowadays you can take crazy pictures or you can do a photo shoot and you probably don't even have to pay that much you know you can probably do like fifty dollars um for two hours or something like just find somebody that that's willing to to take 50 off you to, to shoot some photos for a couple hours like you know there's ways out here to do that so other than that guys peace out i hope you got some value make sure you comment subscribe um and like the video please just like the video at the very least but if you got any value, please comment and subscribe. Other than that, peace.